How you doing, YouTube? Uh, yeah. How you doing, YouTube? I can't. I can't not do it that way. Uh, I should actually do this live. We should just stream these live instead of actually hey, like, filming it. Whatever. That would be scary. Ooh. But uh, but yeah, we we're, should, we should plan that one of these nights. We're gonna. We're gonna. Maybe I'm okay. It'll should. happen. It'll happen. Anyway, we are gonna do another review. We're here at Harry's house. Let's say hi, Harry. How you doing? Hi, Harry. Um, and uh, we're doing a couple beers. We just reviewed a double IPA brought back from North Carolina. Another North Carolina beer here. Virginia, Richmond. Mm, close enough. Whatever. It's fucking six That's of one. Right. I don't care. That's what I might well. Anyway, uh, we have here Ardent uh, Szechuan Peppercorn Cezanne. Have you had this before? I have not. I did pick it up at um, you? Elwood Thompson's nope. Grocery. In Elwood Thompson. Something like in, high school. I know. In Carytown, <laughs> yeah. uh, Virginia. <laughs> So. <laughs> um, I've never had it. Beautiful. I mean, we got this nice paper. I started to unwrap it, and Harry yelled at me just to review it, so that's why it looks a little disheveled. Um, as far as what it actually says on the actual uh, paper itself, it says Black Paper Series Ardent Craft Ale Szechuan Peppercorn Saison. 6.7% alcohol by volume. February 5th, 2016. Black Paper Series is a limited run bottling of select Ardent beers. Label-wise, it's fucking awesome. I don't actually don't know what's under there. I, but do I. you wrapped it in paper. I mean, two things are happening right now. One, you put the extra effort forward, Ardent, which I really enjoy. And two, who doesn't like Liam Perrin's fucking Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire, Worcestershire, yes, Worcestershire sauce. So there's come, nothing on the box. Oh, that's even better. I like that. Yeah. Sometimes you unwrap it and actually it will glue to the bottle. Yeah. Though. Don't glue it to the bottle. I understand it's probably it's a packaging thing. But, um, yeah, it's only one piece. Anyway, let's see what we got going on here. So, yeah, now the label's even better because there's nothing <laughs> there. What does it say? Um, fuck you, George. Um, All right. I Thanks, wanted, right there, I wanted to, like, it would take too long, but uh, I wanted to do, like, go fuck yourself, like a Charlie Day thing kind of thing, but, you know, I mean, whatever. So, let's see what we got. Ooh. Ooh. A little, uh, a little smoking, smokiness coming out of that sucker. You poured it, 750 style, and last but not least, look at that. I'm curious to see what kind of saison it is, but I mean, first off, it looks beautiful. Golden, with a bit of haze. It smells like from here that there's some wild yeast involved. No label, so that goes away. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Like it's so pretty looking. It almost like looks like we were talking about it. I'm not saying this because we talked about it earlier. We were actually uh, talking about, um, what was it? Days? No, we we're talking about, um, fuck, intangible ales mm. with the uh, 3D glasses. Oh, if yes. you look at it, it looks like it has, like, if you ever look at 3D without the glasses, it has like a, like that kind of double view thing. Like it looks like if you hold it to light, it, and like shimmering around. It mm -hmm. looks like it has this weird kind of like, you can't focus on the beer, which is kind of weird, but I dig it. Golden, like golden honey in color. Whitehead. Let's get a nose on this. Okay. Oh, peppers, baby. I'm getting a lot of peppers. <laughs> I yeah, love. Awesome. Did you ever have any beers with peppercorns before? Just with you. Oh, uh, the uh, Sabatini's. That's the beer I was going to bring up. Um, you probably have at some point or another. The beer I was going to bring up, which I shared with him. With Harry was um, uh, Duda Ciel's uh, Rosé, uh, no, no, it's a Roots de Species is what it was. And it's a, uh, I believe it's a pink peppercorn beer. Um, and I think it's a Belgian, Canada, right? mm -hmm, Montreal, Canada. And I believe it was a, um, it wasn't a Cezanne. I believe it was like more of a Belgian golden ale. But I'm getting a lot of those vibes there. You're getting that pepper, but you're getting that pepper from, you get a lot of pepper notes from actual Cezanne yeast. I'm guessing this is more like French. There's French Cezanne, there's Belgian Cezanne. I'm guessing more French, but who knows. Um, you get pepper notes from the actual Cezanne itself. You get like coriander and, um, you want to say it? There's another C word in there. Cardamom. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Cardamom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coriander. You get a, like a pepperiness from it in general, but then like the actual addition of the actual peppercorns itself is awesome. And it smells like it might be a little bit funky. More funky than, uh, uh, not in a barnyardy, sweaty kind of way, but more like a wild yeast kind of way. So and I just want to drink this shit. So. Cheers. Yeah. What do you guys think of it so far? I didn't try it yet, so. 
I'm gonna take a little taste. Mental nose. That's fucking delicious. It's not super impactful, but the flavors are fucking. <laughs> George just slammed. I I I bring out the yeah. the, the MTR. Chugs. The chugs. The MTR. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Those no. are great beer. That you just wasted some shit because that shit wasn't delicious. Like taste it? Or? No, no, I okay. taste it. it was... I thought we had a rule: chugs on dubs, baby. <laughs> But yeah. whatever you broke, you got the MBR rule. and I got the MTR. Yeah. So no, this is a delicious. No, beer. it's a fantastic beer. Um, that that pepperiness to it, like, it's not overbearing, but it's just it's almost the right amount. Like, I very that subtle. taste is awesome. I get the spicy. You get the atypical saisony funkiness. It's not as funky as I thought it was gonna be, but it is funky because I'm starting to get tight in the chest, which means I'm kind of allergic to it. Which All right, really good I like fantastic. It. No, I won't go that far. Right, but we have an epi pen up there. Yeah. So massive heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> massive heart hospital attack bill. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the um, the cool thing about this is when I drink it, and I've actually never thought about this before. All the flavor is like sitting on the roof of my mouth as opposed to my tongue. Is anybody else getting that? Yeah, you can feel it. It could just be me, but like I'm getting this radiant flavor that's all sitting on the roof of my mouth and on my tongue itself. Like I actually feel it. Like it's almost like subtle burning coming from the roof of my mouth. Again, it could be an allergic thing, but it's working for me and I dig <laughs> it. Um, no, it's it's you're getting <laughs> a nice kind of like weedy kind of biscuity malt from it, but then you have this like the peppers there. That's the star of the show because there's peppercorns and uh, the Belgian yeast itself. But then there's um there's like a um what am I thinking here? I don't know, but even after my taste, I'm still I'm still getting that like it's still sitting there. Yeah. There's a like unripened fruit quality to it, like a fruit where like sometimes when you bite into a pear or a peach and you're just like fuck, it's too new. Mm -hmm. And that's the yeast. You know what I mean? They probably had some kind of funky wild yeast going on. There's like a fresh fruit that isn't ripened enough yet kind of vibe going on. What kind of fruit? I don't know. If I had a gun in my hand, I would go like peach or nectar or tangerine. Not that tangerine, nectarine. Um, but under ripened to where it's more like earthy instead of actual like juicy and sweet. It's just fun. It's a, it's a really good beer. And um, I've talked about it ad nauseum. There's a couple things if you want to pease me. And be shitty about it. You know, put chilies in your beer. Put fucking peppercorns in your beer. I'm a whore. I'm a slut for that shit. So you can make a mediocre beer and you put fucking peppercorns in it. I'm like, I fucking love it. It's delicious. It has peppercorns <laughs> in it. So, you know, this whole... This beer should be taken with a grain of salt as far as what I say. Because it's jam packed peppercorns. So, Definitely. do you have anything to add? chuck a thumb? No, that's... <laughs> you nailed it. You brought it Why up. did you pick this up? Let me ask you that. Honestly, I went... Uh, Searching around for Aleworks Bitter Valentine, but it's a quasi limited brew. They only brew it a couple times a year, and, and if you're I know. And if you're shopping, you might as well buy other I, shit. Absolutely, while you're actually, I grabbed somebody at this grocery store, and the guy was great. We talked beer for about five ten minutes, and said, "Listen, this just came in. This is limited. You should at least pick this up." And previously, when I was down in Richmond, I did stop at Ale at um, Arden's Tap House, and it was. Their beers were good. It was a weird vibe there, but I mean, uh, the beers were pretty solid. Everything I've had from Arden, so I figured, what the hell? Well, good you call. Know? This is delicious. I like this. Like this is the kind of beer. I don't remember what the ABV uh, is on it. I threw you the could paper. Pick the paper. Oh, yeah, that's six that. something maybe. But I think six and change. At six and change, this is a beer I'd want. Very drink. drinkable. Yeah. yeah. This is, for me, this is what I want. To drink while I'm golfing or I'm at a barbecue or something like that. Maybe next level. I want to start a little smaller than this flavor wise just to have something not as as it's definitely a nice uh, spring, summer barbecue yeah. party. Kind oh definitely. Of beer, you know. So there you go. Uh, let's talk about it for a minute. Is it one of the better seasons I've had as of late? Yeah, actually it's probably up there. It's in the top five. It's just that good. I dig it that much. It works for me. Um would I buy it again? Fuck yeah. Um do you remember a price? Probably not. It might have been 12-ish dollars, give or take. That's Which is bad. where I want it to be. Do you yeah. know what I mean? If it I wasn't if I find it, If it were like 17 bucks, I wouldn't have picked it up. You know? If I find this for 10, I'm overjoyed. If I find it for 12, I go, yep. If I find it for 15, I'd probably buy it. But at the same time, I'm like, 
motherfuckers. Um, but yeah, twelve bucks all day. I mean, just say if you like what if you like this, if you like the the Rootsia species from um, from from Duda CL, or if you actually like peppercorns and beer in general because it has that in spades because that's what it's meant to do. But at the same time, it has a really beautiful um, yeast profile that just coats the roof of your mouth. Like I said, it's a, the experience itself for me. That's the winner for me. That's the thing I'm going to take away from this is the uh, uniqueness, unique New Yorkness of this beer. And uh, yeah, there we go. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review as much as I did. Or at least or George did. Yeah, no, George. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it for more than five seconds. And uh, uh, Which is funny because George is going to get angry because I said five seconds and he chugged it way qu quicker than that. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or didn't, down there and stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on tap, Friendster, MySpace, uh, IRC, fucking ICQ, the whole nine. You can check us there, Massive Beers, and uh, yeah, talk to you next time. Cheers.